Hi everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. How are you all doing? Um, so I'm showing this recipe because this is one meal that it's absolutely lovely and very simple to make. So this is sea brain. You can use any fish of your choice for this recipe, uh, but I'm using sea brain. That's the name. <laughs> you can use mackerel. You can use any. I mean, sea bass. Any fish of your choice. So the first thing you want to do is to clean up your fish and make incisions on the is it incisions they call it. I don't know. <laughs> I know there is a name for it. Anyway, just give the fish a cut on the body. <laughs> Incision. <laughs> okay, so give the fish a cut. There is a name for this process. I don't know what it is. I will find out. <laughs> All right. So when you've done that, uh, that's just to allow the, you know, the. Uh, sauce that you're gonna rub all over the fish to at least get in you know in the process of cooking so over here I've got my garlic and ginger paste and then hot chili paste uh, that's optional okay the hot chili paste is optional of course if you're not new to my channel you know that I absolutely love spicy food and then I've got one lemon um, you know just uh, just the lemon and uh, you know add to the garlic and chili paste and um, you know it's just uh, going to give the fish that extra flavor the lemon juice roasting fish without lemon it's just something I wouldn't advise anybody to do because lemon always give it that special flavor adding uh, the rest of the seasonings I'm just gonna show you as I add them and the measurement I will say I'll put it at less than half a teaspoon maybe just a quarter teaspoon um, you know it shouldn't be too much you want to spice it uh, lightly um, you know especially the salt uh, because of the lemon juice you just have to be careful with uh, how much salt you put in so I would say maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon from each of the spices Okay, so because I'm making dinner, um, I'm going to be roasting the fish over this uh, pan of goodies. So I've got my sliced uh, potato, or um, cherry tomato, uh, I've got bear peppers, courgette, um, just wash and you know cut them into your desired shapes. I've also got onions as well, you know, and just you know cut them up into smaller bits. Uh, and then um, put them in your roasting pan first I'm going to lightly coat the vegetables and potato um, and you're gonna see me doing it now first thing you want to do is make sure you coat it with you know your desired oil and then um, parsley is absolutely good on it but it's optional you don't really need it but I love the way it makes it look <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to be using barbecue powder um, you, you don't really need to add barbecue powder uh, you can even use uh, maybe uh, chicken seasoning you know if it's what you have and then add some salt and just you know uh, mix well <laughs> mix them together and uh, yeah it's 
all set for the fish to go on top of it. <laughs> Trust me, this dinner is something you will want to try. It's so, so, so yummy. <laughs> Now it's time to place the fish uh, over the potato and you know and the vegetables and then just uh, spray some oil over the fish. You can use any oil of your choice. I used uh, olive oil and, um, and then the next step would be to just cut the fish with the mixture you know that we made earlier, remember? Is sitting right there <laughs> so you know just cut the fish give it a very good coating make sure that it you know the mixture gets into or the I don't want to use the word incision because that's not the right word for that process <laughs> but the cut that we made on the fish okay just make sure you know the uh, mixture gets into uh, I mean cut it really well and um, yeah, and it's ready to go into the oven. So you can see that it's really easy to make. Okay, so it's ready to go into the oven. Can you see how beautiful it is? And looks really healthy. <laughs> okay, so I preheated the oven to 160 degrees Celsius. And I didn't cover it, uh, you know, because it's gonna be baked on very low uh, heat, so it's not gonna get burnt. And of course, you know, let it go into the oven for the first 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, here's how it looks after 30 minutes. So I'm going to flip the fish now and you know it's going back into the oven for another 30 minutes. Remember I said on low heat? Mm -hmm. So just flip to the other side, pop it back into the oven and you know let it continue to bake. Okay, so um, I'm going to be making a dip for this meal. Uh, I'm, you can use ketchup for your potato and all of that, but this is a simple uh, dip that you know you can make. It's very nice on the potato and vegetable mixture. Um, so yeah, these are the ingredients.
All right, now dinner is fully ready. You can see everything came out so nice. Everything so nicely roasted. And mm, like this is one dinner you just you, you enjoy with your family. I can promise you that. So please give it a try. And for the dip, now I've added the cheese to the dip I made. And you know, you just pour over the um, fish or you pour over the vegetables and potato. And it's, you know, so creamy and tasty. You know, that taste of coconut and uh, just too good. Just too good. So you can serve your fish, you know, with uh, some seasoned onions and uh, bell pepper, or you, you know, you can just choose to have the full dinner. You can see the dip there, so creamy. Bon appetit! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope you give it a try as well. And um, if you love what I'm doing on my channel, please consider subscribing and you know, give this video a like, you can share it with your family and friends and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and bye.